how to interpret steady state photoluminescence and time result photoluminescence. This is the steady state PL spectra and this one is the time result PL spectra. So let's get started. Here we have two sample. The first one is basically the control one. This means this is the pristine one. This is the fever one when there is no additional amount added. And this is the modified film. When we add the 60 IC4 app to the film and we want to see what change is happening in the film when we add this to the fever or control film. And I want to clarify that these PL spectra are basically for thin film. This is basically the thin film of proskite. So this PL spectra looks like in one form when we are taking for thin film. But when we insert this film into the device, then the PL spectra basically changes. So let's get started. So in this image, in this graph, there is a clear signal that when we add this uh, additional amount to the film, to the PL peak intensity increases. This is one indication. So we can write about this PL increase, the intensity increases. And this is very simple. When the intensity increases, this means that the crystallinity increases. Yes, there is no way the crystallinity. Or we can say that the defects decreases. There is no defects. Or we can say that now the carrier will move faster. All these things are related with each other. Because we know that we want to know the carrier dynamics with the help of photoluminescence. So the carrier dynamics mean moments, the mobility. So when there are defects, the mobility will be low. When there are no defects, the mobility will be faster and vice versa. So all these things are related with each other. So in, in uh, here, one thing is the intensity increases here uh, when we modify the film here. So this means that the crystallinity improve, the carrier dynamics improve, the mobility increase, the defects decrease, right? Secondly, there is a shape toward the lower wavelength and this is we call blue shift and we know that this important relation h is equal to h mu or we can say that hc by lambda so from this equation when the wavelength is uh, decreasing this means that the energy or the 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 the, the, the band gap uh, it basically increases here so this means that uh, this 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 simply we can also find the band gap that the band gap of the uh, the, the film now the material increases when we add this to the surface to the film here and that we can draw from the top plot or something but there is a blue shift and this blue shift also uh, give us the information that the defects basically decreases in the film so let's see how, how we can write here so the steady state pl and the time result pl were conducted yes this is very important were conducted because you have to write in the past when you, because you, you did this in the past. Sometime people write R conducted, but I think uh, in the result discussions, you can use this word to investigate, to you can write the word explore, to study, to reveal, whatever you want to use the word. The radiative recombination behavior or non-radiative recombination behavior in chart carrier dynamics in the first card film without this end, uh, with this treatment. So, you can also write here the pristine one, the pristine one or the pure one, something like that, okay. So, as indicated in figure XA, this is basically maybe 5A, 4A figure, whatever. There is a blue shift from 7112 7, 7 nanometer in the steady state PL peak upon when we, upon incorporation, you see, I change this, upon incorporation of this uh, treatment. You can also say that when this thing is added to the film, you can change all these things here. And this basically indicate, what this indicate this shift? Reduction in defects. This is very, you are claiming this thing. How, how you know? Uh, on the surface in the grain boundaries, on the surface in the grain boundaries, we know that what is surface and what is grain boundaries. So you must need to give references here. If you don't give references, this means that nobody will believe this one. And how, how you know that uh, when, when there is a blue shift, so there is a, there is a reduction in the, in the defects. How you know? So I know from this reference. You must need to give reference here, right? And besides, you can well use this word. Moreover, furthermore, in addition, so you mean you can use these alternative words. The PL intensity increases obviously. You see, this is explained here. 
this this shows that non radiative recombination within the film was significantly suppressed or reduced yes non radiative recombination this means that I mean, there is no photon emission that we call non radiative recombination when electron basically excited to the higher states so there are basically defects so electron basically lost there so in that form there is a recombination of course but in that recombination we have phonons or we have we have we have heats so that is we call non radiative because we cannot see <laughs> so when we cannot see that that is not radiation right because we we cannot see heat so that is not radiation right so we finish this one very very nice discussion right now let's come to this one here is i clearly mentioned that when you see the the peak is higher so the the, the time resolved peak should be in the upper side here this is the clear indication so this means that your data is valid here the time resolved photoluminescence we can find the carrier lifetime this means carrier lifetime it means that when electron basically excite to the higher states so in that states how long the electrons stay so that is basically called like carrier lifetime so if there are defects so the electron will loss quickly if there are no defects then the electron will move electron will randomly move in the higher states so that is basically the carrier lifetime so we can see here that the modified film basically give us higher uh, every lifetime than the pristine or control one here and this one this is this is the time here and x is nanosecond and this is the period intensity so this is basically they use the other basically use single exponential function to fit this model because there is there is a model here they fit model here and it again will really that longer lifetime of the carrier basically shows that they basically suppress the non radiative recombination or they basically suppress the defects let's read quickly here the chart carrier lifetime of the prescribed film were obtained by fitting this time resolved spectra to single exponential function there are also two exponential functions mean by exponential function so as shown in figure xb this is xb mean 5b or 4b the pl lifetime of the proscribed film was increased from this to this yes so you can also change this there that the pl uh, lifetime for the proscribed uh, pure proscribed was 7.5 nanosecond why it increased to 12.1 nanosecond for this sample for this often treat this treatment or something and this again confirming that this reduce the possibility of defect induced recombinations yes this is how these techniques are related with each other and they how they talk about the carry lifetime the defects the sterility and mobility so this data i took from this important paper uh, this is the paper I took the data from and it is published in Nature Communication. This is the title of the paper uh, published by Jing Wang et al. in 2020 under a common license. Under a common license 4.0 and this is basically the link to the license.